Hi, welcome to the Microjig Shop. My name is Morgan, and today we're going to be looking at the FitFinder half gauge. We'll go over how it functions and see some practical, everyday uses that will help you work smarter in your shop. The FitFinder was originally designed as an accessory for the dado stop. The dado stop allows you to quickly cut dados to width without measuring by referencing the curve of the blade and the actual inlay material. This is awesome for half laps, but setting the cutting depth still proved to be tedious and time consuming. The solution will be found in a 2,000 year old geometry equation, the Pythagorean theorem. By understanding that a squared plus b squared equals c squared, the fit finder was designed so that every movement made to part two will produce exactly half of that movement in part three by traveling along the hypotenuse built into part one. This allows you to locate the center of stock up to three inches thick, square, round, rectangular, oblong, doesn't matter. Without having to measure, mark, or make test cuts, you can transfer the half measurement to cutting tools for a variety of essential woodworking applications. Here's how you find the center or halfway point of your stock. Set the fit finder down on a flat surface. If any of the tools in your shop have a cast iron top, use that. There are two magnets embedded in the bottom of part one, which are there to keep your fit finder flat and still while you're using it. If you don't have a cast iron top to work with, no sweat. You'll just have to hold it in place. Loosen the green knobs on the back, not all the way, just enough to be able to move parts two and three. Place the material you want to find the center of under part two, then lower it down so that the bottom of part two is sitting on top of the material. Tighten both green knobs with the material still in place to lock in the measurement. You'll see that part three is automatically raised to half the thickness of the material. Now you can transfer that measurement to your tool of choice to set cutting depth or position your fence. So let's see it in action on the router table. The fit finder half gauge is great on the router table. Some routing processes require mating parts to be cut with the center of the profile at exactly half the thickness of the material such as edge banding, rail and style, tongue and groove, and the ever tricky lock miter joint. With the half measurement locked in, align the tip of part three with the vertical center of your router bit. Then repeat for the other bit in the set. To set half thickness depth for straight cuts, set the fit finder to the half point of the material, position the half gauge with part three directly over the router bit. Raise the bit up until it just barely touches the bottom of part three. Just like that, you're all set up to cut your lap joints. Now let's look at a similar process over here on the table saw. Cutting the half measurement on the table saw follows pretty much the same process as the router table. Lock in your measurement, then position part three directly over the apex of the blade's rotation. You'll want to carefully rotate the blade backwards to make sure you're at its highest point. The carbide should just barely make contact with the bottom of part three. You can also use the fit finder to transfer full thickness measurements by simply capturing the measurement with part 3 instead of part 2. Here I'm cutting some simple bridle joints with just one tenon and one mortise. You want the depth of your cuts to be equal to the thickness of the material, so I use the fit finder to set the height of my table saw blade to cut the shoulders. Then I transferred the same measurement to the router table to clear out the waist. In between the table saw and the router table, I used a forcener bit to hog out a majority of the waist just to save myself some time. After I did that a few times, I realized it'd probably be easier to do it on the bandsaw, clear out a lot of the waste, and then finish it off on the router table. You live, you learn, right? Speaking of the bandsaw, say you have a thick piece of wood that you want to resaw directly in half. Piece of cake. Simply place your stock under part two, drop the part down, and then tighten the knobs to lock in the measurement. Hold the bottom of part one to the fence and align the point of part three with your bandsaw blade. Boom. Easy money. The fit finder comes in real handy when you need to mark the center of stock. Sometimes you need to know the center, but don't have a fixed cutting tool to transfer the measurement to, like the lathe for example. You can quickly locate and mark the center of square, rectangular, and round stock for mounting on the lathe. Just capture the measurement like normal, then hold the material with the measured face flush against the front of part one, touching the bottom of part three. Trace a line along the bottom edge of part one on your material. Rotate the material and trace it again to find the exact center point. This process is the same for square, rectangular, and round stock. Well, that's about all I have for you today. I hope this was helpful. And as always, we want to see how you're using the Fit Finder in your workshop. Tag us on social media, show us what you're working on. Thanks for watching.